Hello people and welcome to another video of Programmer's Corner. In this video, we'll take a look at how to implement a algorithm which takes in a string and sees if any of the substrings within that string, if it attached as a prefix to that string, turns that string into a palindrome. So, to give you an example, we take the string ABCC, which now I have to see that if we take any substring from this string and it we attach it as a palindrome, to, attach it as a prefix to it, so it attaches at the start of it, will this string turn into a palindrome? A palindrome is a word which is the same if you read it from the left or if you read it from the right. So for example, if we have something like A N N A, in that case, from the left it's read as A N N A and from the right is also read as A N N A. So if you read the word from left or right and is the same, that means that word is a palindrome. So Keeping that in mind, we will see how we implement this algorithm. So we have a min, fu min prefix function which returns a void, but it takes in a string as a parameter. And the input is in a form of input array. The min prefix function runs a for loop on the given on the pass string. And what it does is it takes the string ABCC, for example. We, we take the string ABCC and it first reverses this entire string to ccba and it attaches it as a prefix to the current given string abcc so now the reverse string function returns a string as a output and uh, it takes in a string as the input the actual string what it does is it reverses the string so abcc will be returned as ccba in this and then it attack appends it to the actual string that gets passed in that is abcc so now the input now the temp will have at this point the temp will have ccba abcc so it checks that now this goes this temp is now passed into a palindrome function which returns a boolean checking whether a given function is a palindrome or not so what this does is it takes the string and it divides it by two takes the length of the length of the string and divides it by two so we only visit half of the string because we have to check that if the character at index t is the same as character at index the whole string length minus t minus one so the first character should match the last character the second character should match the second last character so on and so forth the third character should match the third last character if all that all those characters matches as i said if you read from the left and if you read from the right and if both the readings are the same that means the string is a palindrome but you don't have to have a two for loop instead you can just use one for loop and b and just say that if the index at the character at index 0 is the same as character at index the length minus 1 if the character at index 1 is the same as character at index length minus 2 so on and so forth until you reach the center if all the characters including the center are the same that means the string is a palindrome but if there is a if, if one of the characters in this case is not equal then you return false because that string does not become a palindrome so the first thing that's just passed is ccba abcc that's what get pa that was get passed in the is palindrome function in the initial stage so in this case that is a palindrome because if you look at ccba and abcc it is a palindrome as if you read it from the left and if you read it from the right they both are the same so I store the information of the start point, the end point and the max length. Now in this case, if that's the only thing that I can find that's common among those two strings, then I'm not going to return. Basically the max length is going to be the same as the actual whole length of the string. So it's basically, I cannot, then in that case, I'll return my empty string because nothing passes a palindrome. If I don't find anything in the future, if I truncate the string in ignoring the first character and then only considering the future characters, so what it does is, this keeps track of the max length of the string that has been found from position j. Now we have j is equal to 1. So what it does is, it ignores a and it only sees bcc. So it passes in bcc into the reverse string and it reverses it, returning ccb. The ccb gets appended to the given string abcc. So now ccb abcc, well in this case this is also a palindrome. Because if you read it from the right and if you read it from the left, they both read the same. So 
the is palindrome function returns true so now j becomes 1 and n be n the length of the thing is going to be the same whereas the max length now becomes s dot substring which now becomes the length minus 1 because we are ignoring the first character so we know that we have actually found a substring in a given string which if we revert and stick it in the front makes the whole string a palindrome now let's move to the next one which is 2 because we have to find the minimum there might be something in the field here there might be something here that might be better than this so we take cc and the reverse of cc is going to be cc itself so we come here and we are append cc at the start of it so we have cc a b c c now you can see that's not a palindrome because b and c do not have a b doesn't have a match anywhere so this returns false and uh, the next one is c and again if you put c in the start of this it's not going to be a palindrome because there is a mismatch so we got the first input we got the first solution to be ccb which if we reverse it and append it at the start as a prefix to the string we get the solution as we get the entire string to be a palindrome the same thing goes with gta if we take gta and we, if we try to see how this, what would with the substring in the string that would make this a palindrome if we attach it at the start that would be a and t a t g t a because that would be a palindrome the same thing with g e r t r it would be r t r e because the g is the common here the same thing goes for mood where we have uh, o o d d o o as the sub as the substring attached in the beginning and the same thing as this we have dcb attached in this which turns this into a palindrome so let's execute this and see what we get as a solution and as you can see so we have, we have ccb adding ccb as prefix will make this up make the string abcc a palindrome you can see at a we can have ccb abcc the same thing goes with at if we take at and attach it at the start of the string we have at gta so you read it from the right and you read it from the left we have the same string the same thing with goes the same thing goes with here rt re we attach it here and if you read it from the right and you read it from the left we have this they read they both read the same the same thing with dcb because aa now we, we could have easily added a b c d c b a but that's not the largest that's going to be because we already have a solution that's this will work as well so we have to take the minimum among them and the same thing goes for m o o d if we had d o o at the start of this this becomes a palindrome and the same thing goes with here p c c b a if we add an a here the whole string becomes a palindrome so that was the algorithm on how to implement the palindromic substring how to implement a algorithm which takes a substring from a given string reverts it at, appends it as puts it as a prefix to the given string and checks whether a string is a palindrome or not or finds a string that makes that string a palindrome so that's the algorithm for finding a string that turns a string into a prefix uh, the code will be on the code will be on github the link will be in the description below if you like the video please comment share subscribe thanks for watching and see you guys in the next videos thank you